Hello guys, welcome to C Simpson Strong Tie CFS Designer video tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to design a beam, nothing but light gauge beam. So, if you are learning about this software, then you should have a little familiarity with light gauge steel, the members used in light gauge steel, the grade and this uh, yield strength and the sections everything so coming to the design so let's say uh, we have a door and it needs a header beam at the top so in light gauge we usually have a boxed beam so I can show you an example so as you see this is a boxed light gauge beam header beam it looks like this so there will be two members of your light gauge and uh, which are covered by the top members and the bottom member I don't have anything else to show you but yeah that would be enough for now so coming to the design let's say I already have one uh, as one beam already open designed so in here over here I have a section type I'll select it as AS, AISI S201 standard I mean that means that they have already uh, the proper they have already fed the properties into the software so I can select my section whichever section I want over here and so coming I'll come to the section later on let's say it's a beam joist okay and I'll give it name as such three and I'll enter a load of say 800 pounds feet and my strength will always be 1 deflection will be 0.7 the modifiers nothing but and bracing settings it will be manual and just see to it that thus you enter your span length mine will be 12.5 feet and um, flexural bracing will be at midpoint so um, at midpoint there will be bracing nothing but web stiffeners provided so um, as you see my load over here 800 pound feet is very high because the maximum member stress should be less than 100 percent and I have 337.7 percentage so what I will do is I'll just go over here I'll increase the member I can even increase the size so this thousand is nothing but so you have a light gauge steel going in the form of C shape so the bottom flanges and uh, the bottom and top flange will be nothing but this 250 value and the web will be this thousand value nothing but 10 inches and 2.5 inches flange at both top and bottom and you have the thickness as 54 mils and the grade will be 50 ksi you have selected it as boxed and back to back means C section will be back to back but we need to use box beam most of the time so I selected box and this is my nail spacing whenever you punch for connections it will be 12 inches so now that you can still see it's 166.6 percentage let's go and see at diagrams and as you see at diagrams the minimum deflection it's coming at as 0.4 inches 
which is not bad but it is failing in this member stress so what I'll do is I'll just increase this to let's say 1400 and even increase this to 300 so you see it got increased let me go to 1200 say 162 68 as I'll just say 97 okay so it's passing in this case but we'll need web stiffeners at the midpoint so in this way you can do the design of a header beam in light gauge projects you can go to diagrams you can see your deflected shape right now the deflection is 0.195 inches and you can even she see your moment and also shear so as you see 5000 pounds is the reaction nothing but at the ends for 800 pounds per feet UDL load thank you for thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe for more videos